Livingston County school resource officers are prepared to keep kids safe in the year ahead. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky was there for some special training. We're a teacher and a police officer all in one. That's the job of a school resource officer better known as an SRO. Whenever people think of an SRO, a lot of times they directly relate that with school shootings. But honestly, it's the relationships that the SROs develops with the kids. It's those relationships that both Jessica Blackwell and Eric Chandler, who've spent years as SROs and now lead the division in the city of Dixon, say make the difference in preventing harm. Not only from potential school shootings, but from bullying, fighting and especially recently from vaping. And now we have a problem with the THC vapes. We collaborate a lot with our admin and our social workers just trying to get these kids help because we don't want to see them ODing. We don't want to see them uh, end up in a bad place. We want them to take the right road. We want them to do good. A kid's first mentality that each of these SROs brings to the job in their hometown. Most of them have went to the Dix County Schools, so they're getting to work in some of the schools that they walked around in as a student. Every one of our SROs has kids of their own, so that's their, usually their driving force. They try to treat every kid like it's their own and bring that mindset into things. We're also there for safety because that's the biggest con big concern right now with what's going on in the world. Luckily, we come from a department that we, are, we train nonstop on what to do with these situations that are arising. So I feel like we're ahead of the game with our training. As the school year kicks off, Dixon's SROs hope kids will take to heart the signs throughout the hallways. If they see something, be sure to say something. I want them to know that I'm there no matter what. If they're the thick and the thin, if you need something, come find me. Uh, that, that's what makes it all worth it for me. And if I can save one kid or help one kid, then I'm doing my job. A job that 18 men and women in this town have committed to doing all year long. We're ready to roll. August 1st. In Dixon County, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5.